but there were wonderful unexpected pieces of old Pittsburgh all around too. Like in the town of Natrona, about 20 miles up the Allegheny River. Many mornings there, you may see Mary Jane Zadilla walking to work. This was an old car dealership at one time. This was a Nash car dealership back in the early 30s. For a long time, it's been a small business that makes Red Ribbon pop, the Natrona Bottling Company. Paul Bowser is its president and CEO. Well, we've been here since 1939. My brother started it, took it over, rather. The business itself started in 1904 by a fellow by the name of Ed Welsh. Small bottling companies like this are now very rare, but this one still makes a killer red ribbon cherry. Things we make, the average bottler doesn't want to make. It's not big enough or fast enough for it. The difference is we do micro-crafting. This is done on older equipment, and we use the old-style processing. There's not a bottle of soda pop made in Allegheny County, whether it be Coke, Pepsi, or you name it, outside of us. It may look antique, but it's very functional. And I think the quaintness of it all adds to the magic. It's just an old-fashioned formula. It's a good product, an excellent product now. I, like I said, I never tasted any better than that. That's Art Lingenfelter, who works here whenever they're bottling. Yeah, I drink this stuff. I love it. Everything we make is just a little bit different than the other fellow. We actually use pure cane sugar in our products. Everybody uses this high fructose corn sugar, which is just about half the price of uh, cane sugar. But it's cheaper, so that's the reason they use it. Steve Vokish takes care of the ingredients downstairs and the flavors upstairs in the mix room. Steve is our master bottler. Steve has been here for 30 years. We got a formula that we put on. I think it's uh, 396 ounces of cherry extract, 140 ounces of citric acid, and that's cherry pop. <laughs> and he makes things run. He takes care of everything. He knows all the formulas and everything. I mix the sugar up and mix the syrup up and run the machine downstairs. From the mix room, it comes through tubing into, into the filler. In the filler, the syrup, which is called throw, is added to the bottles. From the, there, it goes to where the carbonation and water is added, and then the bottles are capped. And then from there on in, it keeps going down along the line. It goes through a mixer, which, which uh, uh, is a tumbler affair and mixes that all uniform. It usually runs pretty good this fall, but today we're having a little bit of trouble with it. You may see bottles with higher and lower fill, but the funny thing is it's the lower fill that actually has more flavor. And it comes on around and picks the, picks the label up. Uh, labels are put on one at a time, and the arms go up and down and up and down. It's old, but it runs good. It's uh, pretty fast and It's a good machine. And then it goes back around and into a turn, onto a turntable. And from there, it's taken by hand and put into the cases. And there's 24 bottles to a case. And these are the 12 ounce bottles. Bottles are a luxury right now, glass bottles. In fact, the glass production is running about 5% below demand and they're still shutting glass houses down. So uh, we haven't been able to go out and do what we wanted to do for the simple reason we don't have the glass to do it with. If you look closely, you may notice the bubbles in this stuff are tiny. The reason the bubbles are different, we use a different type carbonation than most other bottlers use. Everybody uses CO2 gas uh, out of a big tanker. And these boys, this is the way they have to do it for the volume they use. We don't do it that way. We get the CO2 from dry ice that is delivered and we put it in the canisters and it takes approximately a day and a half for the dry ice to produce the CO2. And uh, we can get a finer pinpoint carbonation. It does wonders for the flavor. On some days, Natrona Bottling makes a popular product specially packaged in bigger green wine bottles. This looks like a bottle of the real champagne, only it isn't, it's champagne -o. It's a non-alcoholic type champagne. The champagne -o, when it is produced, it is done by hand. The stoppers are put in by hand. The wire hoods are put on by hand. And then we make a drink called uh, Jamaica's finest ginger beer and a red ribbon root beer. 
And now we've come out with a Pennsylvania punch. There's nothing, there's nothing cheap about our products. We're in the Mercedes class, not the Chevys. Chevys, you go to the other fellow that has it on sale, you know. For what you can buy a case of some of the stuff on sale for, you, you're lucky you go out with two bottles of ours. But there's that class of people that want ours, and they, and they, they like the product. We do have a website, and through the website, we have bought in, um, a lot of inquiries. We have shipped through um, the website. It's an awesome product, without a doubt. I, I don't know where you'd ever come to find a product as good as this anywhere. I like it. I mean, I, it's all I know. I mean, I'm not a golfer, I'm not a fisherman. I mean, <laughs> I'm a pump man. I like what it is. People don't realize we're still here. The company's been here 66 years, and it's just a little well-kept secret. Oh, it's surprises like this that help make Pittsburgh a fascinating and flavorful place to live. You know, this was just a clip. To get a DVD copy of this entire program or others like it, please call 1-800-274-1307 or visit wqed.org and click on Shop WQED.